cold and windy out here. Uh, yeah, there we go. I went to, I, when I dropped my son off at work, I stayed and got on the internet. And I said we have 53 mile an hour winds are out here and it's chilly. Couldn't tell you what temperature it is. It's probably in the 30s or 40s. But uh, let's take a look at the van real quick. Again, I'd like to get more detailed right now, but I'm not going to because it's freaking cold out here. But anyway, here's the guitar or the cargo up on top. Uh, I have right now. I have this metal wire here, which I have locked. I figured it'll help make it a little bit less likely for someone to try to steal stuff. Uh, I also plan on doing that with the cargo area in the back, but uh, that's how it is right there. Now, I did not get a video done of me making this, and I apologize. I didn't have, uh, I was going to do it, and I just, I put it together and just didn't even get the camera out, and I apologize. But anyway, it's together and on, so here's our the back for our, what we're going to do for the stuff in the back. So I am going to do a video of me placing the stuff back here. So hopefully this will be a decent video. And I hope the wind doesn't blow this camera down. So as all right, we're going to start by using this tarp. And it will change eventually when we get a better tarp. But for right now, this one is just going to have to do. cargo carrier that we had on top and inside this I have our table three chairs and the wagon all right I guess for right now I'll roll these ends up I'm gonna strap this here like this Right now this bucket's empty and I don't even know if it'll fit. Uh, may not fit. No, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit. I had it on there earlier. But Anyway, Yeah. 
there. Got one more thing that needs to fit up there. We gotta put my wife's wheelchair up there, and then we gotta put another top tarp on top of that, a smaller tarp, and strap it down with some with a couple straps. And uh, I think I'll get to that a little bit later. I think I'm gonna stop it now because it's getting the wind is really bad. So I'll get right back with you. All right, so I'm in the house for a few minutes. I went out to the shed and uh, we were going to leave this here but here is a runner carpet piece of runner carpet and uh, I'm going to go back out I'm going to take the everything back off take the tarp off I'm going to put that runner carpet on the bottom that's going to be the bottom part that's going to help help keep the stuff from splashing up and everything up underneath then I can use the tarp to put on top I'm not going to film it because it's just going to add to the video and uh, just more chance of the video camera falling down out in the wind and everything so basically I'm just going to take everything off take the tarp off put this on the bottom put everything back on and then we can continue with putting the tarp on top of that now I did get that bucket on there by the way so <laughs> And uh, after that, all we got to do is put my wife's wheelchair on, and then I can cover the tarp, the top of it with the tarp. So I'll get right back with you. All right, so I've tried to set the camera down. It won't work. Uh, the wind keeps blowing it. But anyway, there it is. That's the uh, carpet runner piece that I'm going to sit down there. Then I'm going to place all this stuff back on it, and then I'll put that tarp on top. I really did want to video this for you guys, but it doesn't look like the wind is going to allow it. All righty. So, tote right there. It's got stuff in it. That bucket so far does not have anything in it, but it will. I mainly put the bucket there just because we try to even out the space and more storage for something. If we had to take it out for something else, we can. And then in there, like I said before, what was in there. So we're just going to put the uh, wheelchair on top of there and uh, strap it down with some bungees and uh, cordage and then uh, we'll go ahead and put the tarp on and I'll get back with you when that is completely done. All right, so it is strapped on on all four corners. I tied it with some cordage and uh, it was kind of interesting but I got it done. I, I, I wish I would have videoed it but anyway, all I did was uh, bunched up each corner tied it and then I crossed the cordage underneath to the opposite angled side, tied it, then from this or from that side to this side, and so there's an X underneath uh, where I tied it. I'm gonna secure it with uh, two of these and then we'll be good to go. So I'll get right back with you. All right, so I got it done. Yeah, there's a tear there, but there ain't nothing to do about it right now. I had the ratchet straps on there, and honestly, I'm not even 100% sure I got the ratchet straps correct, but they are decently tight, and they will hold for now. So if I have to redo them, I will. But there we go. <sighs> All righty, so I came inside to wrap up the video. We have the cargo carrier uh, set up. It, it's definitely not the way it's going to stay. I'm sure of that. But uh, we have a few more days to adjust and get everything taken care of. And we'll probably do that at her parents' house when we have a little more uh, availability of just relaxing and taking care of stuff like everything in the back and the the very back stone go and all that stuff needs to be adjusted and arranged uh, everything on top 
is for the most part uh, just basic survival gear that I have uh, for when we're out in the woods and just in case and stuff to that nature. The stuff in the very back, eh, well, I just kind of toss stuff in that one tote just to have space for it. And uh, like I said, I already described what was in there. We'll throw some stuff in the bucket, I'm sure. But uh, anyway, it's all set. It's all good to go. I would say other than a couple totes of, of food, and the mattress we're like 99% done 99% everything in the van is going to go in the van is in the van uh, of course I do have my computer my camera gear uh, and and a small uh, a small thing for my medications and a small thing for just random stuff that I have at the side of my bed that stuff is going to stay inside here until we actually leave but other than that as far as I'm concerned I am completely good to go Michelle has a few more things to deal with. She has the craft stuff she wants to take care of. She's still got one more craft show to do. And uh, I think in the next few days we're going to get all of that stuff taken care of as well. So uh, today is, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday. Hun? What? What's today? Wednesday, okay, thank you. So, <laughs> whatever, what is it like 26, 27, somewhere around there? Thanksgiving, I don't know. Okay, anyway, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, whatever day this is. So, anyway, there we go. So, that tells you how, how much of a day and time person I am. Anyway, I do want to thank you for watching Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard.